Hello, Modern MechWarrior 5 player. Oh, hello, Battletech 2018 player. Hey, Modern MechWarrior 5 player, I've got a question for you. What dropships have you unlocked so far? Oh, I'm still using the Leopard. What about you? Oh, that's great. I've got a Leopard too. I don't use it very much anymore. After about four hours, I upgraded to this amazing hero ship. And pretty soon, I'll fully upgrade that into a fully-fledged plot armor ship. Gee, Battletech 2018 player, that sounds like lots of really good fun. But how long will that take? I think about 10 hours, but it's great. I feel like I am a mythic merc company, fighting the good fight, making a difference in a galaxy at war for the last 1500 years. By the way, how long have you been in that leopard? Yes, I can say after hundreds of years in game, after light mechs, medium mechs, heavies, and assaults, after billions of sea bills, after patches, updates, and DLCs, I'm still riding around in the Battletech equivalent of the Honda Civic. Or maybe the Renault Clio, if I'm being generous. Now, this is not about ego, this is not about style, this is about being honest with yourself. Are you really a mythic merc company? How about some perspective? Let's go to Sarna and compare two merc companies. Oh look, here are the Kelhounds, undoubtedly a mythic merc company that everyone has heard of. They field three battle mech battalions, one battalion of aerospace fighters, and one infantry battalion. Okay, okay. Let's be more fair. Maybe we aren't that mythic, but we're still pretty impressive, right? Let's compare our company to maybe one not as fancy as the Kelhounds. Maybe to one that no one has heard of? Oh look, here's Bullard's Armored Cavalry. One battalion in 3025, mercenary rating of D. And a trio of dropships? One fortress and two unions? Maybe they don't even count leopards. What my point is here, if you can't tell, is that there is no way we are a merc company of any actual renown in the Battletech universe. At least in Battletech 2018, you are fighting the civil war in the ass end of the galaxy that no one cares about, but still, small fish, small pond. And that feels great because by the time you have conquered the small pond, you have the whole galaxy to take on. But you know you're not that big a deal in the greater scheme of things. In fact, the entire time you are terrified that you might catch the eye of the Torian Concordant, a periphery state, or heaven forbid, involve House Liao or House Davian. In fact, in MechWarrior 5, the only way you survive Comstar shitlist at all is by ditching your former mercenary title of Nyx Cavaliers, and leaving your dad for dead, and flying under the radar under the protection of interstellar expeditions. For the entire game, you assume the title of basically a courier company. And that's great! No delusions of grandeur. But I forgot something. This movie was supposed to be about the Leopard. Well, from 3015, all the way till the clan invasion, the Leopard is your home. It has a fully animated interior of two different scales, one for when you're on foot and one for when you're in a mech. This took a lot of work, and I respect that. It adds weight and scale to a game about giant stompy robots, and that's very important. Also, it's probably the main reason you don't get an upgrade, at least until now. You get 12 mech bays, which isn't even enough to field a lance of four of your favorite mechs of each weight class. That means that any mech you are repairing, refitting, using, or buying is taking up one of those 12 bays. Wait, what was that last one? Buying? I need an open bay if I want to buy a mech? Why doesn't it just go to cold storage if your bays are full? It's just like salvage. That mechanic already exists in the game. You've already coded it. Why isn't it this way? So let me revise. 
you get 11 bays, you have to always have a bay open if you jump into a system that might just have a mech you want to buy. There is no point in filling the 11th slot until you have every mech and 25 copies of every tier 5 gun. And then you've beaten the game, so what's the point? Otherwise you just waste a ton of days and Z bills filling and emptying that 11th slot. What else can I say? The Leopard feels like home, sorta. You get a motley crew of colorful characters. Rihanna was like a beekeeper or something. And Fahad is like the hardest working human being that ever lived. Yeah, he still gets chided by the officers whenever he asks, like, what's the point? What's the point of it all? You've got uh, Sebastian Spears, who once crashed a Fortress class dropship into the surface of Koromadir, I think. Um, sometimes the dropship comes down to the planet and covers your escape. One of the times the devs decided fun is more important than game balance because the ship can totally help you nail down some late game salvage at the end of certain missions, or it can give you cover fire if you're like limping back at the end of a bad fight. Uh, what else? Anyway, this is one of the times I want to ask my commenters what they think about solutions to the whole reputation slash dropship issue. How would you let us upgrade the ship without wasting all of that hard work the art team put into the interior design of the Leopard? We're just about to see a new patch addressing this issue somewhat but I have some of my own ideas, and let's see what you guys can come up with too. Other than that, thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, notify to the channel, please. It's literally the only way we make it out here.